So as logic follows, if you want to build your abdominal muscles, right, you're going to work them directly with load like you would with any other muscle. Right? Perfect exercises being those uh, weighted crunches and uh, maybe the crunch machine with a weight stack. And, you know, if you do do that, you know, in a calorie deficit, you're probably not really going to build any mass on them because you, you don't have enough energy in your body to build muscle, right? Typically, you'd be just maintaining. But if you're eating in a calorie surplus, right, or even around maintenance, you know, I definitely think that main gaining is legit. It's just kind of a slow process. Then, you know, by combining the extra energy from all your extra calories, like I was saying before, plus, you know, intense exposure to weight on those muscles, guess what? Your abs are going to freaking grow, right? I've always kind of been a hater on, like I was talking about the like home ab exercises and the like leg lifts, just kind of shit that's for show, right? There's nothing complicated about how your abs work. You don't have to sit here and do like side to side toe touches or, uh, you know, whatever other shit your high school training coach had you doing as an ab workout, right? Like, I guess it works, but, you know, for me, I say those cable crunches are the best. So, you know, same with abs, or no, what I say, same with abs, same with calves. Uh, if your abs are slacking, or if you feel like they are, then end of your workout. If they're not sore, and if you just throw in a couple sets of those crunches, Really, I could do, you could do probably like five sets in like five minutes. They don't really need a ton of recovery because it's not like you're fucking, it's not like every rep you're wrenching as much fucking amount of weight as possible. You know, the sets aren't like that, right? You just want enough weight where when you get to that bottom portion of the crunch and you're really squeezing, you can get a good burning feeling. And then, you know, you do 20 reps, you're like, uh, to the point where you feel like you did a good set. Five sets of those every so often, eight sets of those, you should see some freaking results, right? I guess, uh, hmm. I don't know. It kind of, it's just kind of weird to me to see people where, like, they've got big shoulders, they've got big arms and everything else, but, and they're lean, but they just kind of have a flat stomach, like their abs just aren't developed they're not really three-dimensional they're just kind of like barely there right but uh, again like i was saying once you build them they're not going away right as long as you're like still lifting and just by fucking flexing them in the mirror all the time because that's like a every time you fucking look in the mirror you're flexing your abs that's enough to maintain them so i'm gonna go home eat some more food conclusion to get abs you should one Train them with high intensity and low reps aim for around 15 to 20 reps. You don't need to rest long between sets exercises that were recommended were weighted crunches and machine crunches. 2. Reduce body fat percentage. Maintain a healthy diet to lower overall body fat for your abs to become visible. Emphasize clean, whole foods and create a calorie deficit.